Good morning, friends. Today is Friday, June 24th. I'm Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar, and we start the day looking at the economic calendar. Not, all, not any announcements that are going to move the market today, although yesterday's announcements uh, did come in with numbers that might indicate that the economy is slowing down. The manufacturing index is down and continuing and initial jobless claims are slightly up. So we might be, these are, these are telltale signs, don't know, they're, they're too slight at this point to tell that uh, a recession might be on the horizon, but the numbers may start to point in that direction. Moving over to the morning news, flags are all in the green, which is good. Oil and uh, the Treasury haven't moved much, neither oil nor uh, interest rates have moved much over the past two days, which is good. And by the way, uh, if you're looking for the most important news uh, for day traders, you're not going to find it here or in any other news source, and that is where will the market trade today? That's the most important thing that you could know as a trader. Where will the market trade? Oh, and by the way, 100 million worth of crypto disappeared overnight. So if you have a crypto account, you might want to check it to make sure that you weren't affected. Hope not. Uh, at any rate, moving over to the E-mini. This is the micro E-mini from yesterday, June 23rd. Uh, notice this volatility. Now, volatility is usually seen midweek. Midweek, Monday was a holiday, so uh, the volatility that I expected on Wednesday didn't happen till yesterday. But as you can see, it was very choppy in the morning. There's five points between each horizontal line on this chart, and so you can see on these three-minute candles, there's 20 points, 20 points in a three-minute candle. Very volatile move, a very volatile uh, action, price action, and dangerous price action to trade in. So if you jumped on in a situation where volatility is is uh, apparent, it, it's not an area where you should trade, okay? It, it really isn't. You should use patience and wait to see where the market settles down and where it's really heading. Now, I use information, the, the, the only way to trade consistently is to trade using a low risk strategy. And so I, I look for the trade setups. I use the previous day's close, which is the black line, horizontal line you see here. This is the previous day's close. And I calculate the trading zone. And that's based on uh, how the market has moved between lows to highs and highs to lows over the previous several days. And there, it's an average of averages. Almost all professional traders calculate this number. It's based on the work of George Taylor. Uh, if you want to calculate the trading zone or learn how to do it, you can learn it in my course, or you can buy George Taylor's book, The Taylor Trading Technique, on, on Amazon. It's available on Amazon. Difficult book to read, and the numbers uh, to put together to calculate the trading zone are not easily uh, difficult to, to do, let me just say that. So I calculate the numbers every day and I make them available as a subscription. But nevertheless, it's important to have as much information as possible and particularly the one piece of information that we all want to know is where will the market trade today? And that's what the trading zone calculations uh, try to help us determine. So Without trading in this area of volatility, you, and you never know when volatility is going to happen. It generally happens in midweek. But nevertheless, there are setups that you should watch for. Uh, yesterday, for instance, there was a time and price trade, and that's this trade over here where the market goes down a certain number of points, consolidates, and then continues on its journey in the same direction and for the same number of points and time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that also... Uh, in, encompassed uh, the gap trade. So that was a good trade yesterday, a 15, 20 point trade. Other than that, volatility settled down in the afternoon and it could have been possible to take a trade here, but the, 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 the best setup of the day was this time and price trade together with the gap. Uh, again, try to avoid areas of volatility if you get trapped in these areas. You know, you, you could lose and then make up uh, the loss but you'd rather not be in, the, in that area. Um, so to be consistently successful, and that's, the, that's a question that 
or or the object of trading, how to be consistently successful, you, you really have to have information and base your trades on that information. On my trading zone, it's usually pretty accurate. For example, the previous day, here was my trading zone the previous day. Market opened up over here, traversed the entirety of the trading zone, and even closed the gap on the way there. So again, the trading zone is a tool that I use together with the uh, trade setups that I teach, the six trade setups. Uh, and uh, uh, I teach th those in my course at Timeless Dollar. If you want a little bit of information on how to trade, you might want to look it up and uh, uh, you'll be a better, a more consistent trader. If you don't know uh, how to spot trade setups or you're trading without success or just trading by guess, really take a course, if not mine, then somebody's. But it's, it's better to, if you're going to lose money, at least you should know why, right? Uh, and I, I hate to say it, but trading is not easy. It, it, you know, it, it's, it, a lot of it is uh, uh, learning what the market has done in the past because history does repeat itself. And the market does have a rhythm. It's not as volatile or, or erratic, rather, as most people think. Uh, at any rate, uh, thanks for watching. This is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. Have a great day and have a good first weekend of summer. Trade with lots of patience and I'll see you in my next video.